Hey, are you ready for some hunting on the Tommy Wilcox Show? California and South Alabama and little towns all around this land. And we can skin a buck and run a trot line and a country boy can survive. Country folks can survive. Tommy Wilcox Outdoors is brought to you by Big Number One Motorsports. Game face calls. When you head to the woods, you better bring your game face. Alabama Credit Union. 26 locations around the state to better service you. Nelson Glass. Been servicing the community for over 40 years and specializes in contract glazing and custom shower enclosures. White Oak Whitetails. If a big buck and a big bass is on your bucket list, then you need to visit White Oak Whitetails. And all music courtesy of country music legend Hank Williams Jr. Hey folks, welcome to today's show. I think we got a fabulous fishing show for you today. We're going to be down at Forsters, Alabama at Brian Harden's farm. I've got four angels with me. I've got Heather, Cody, Molly and Ryan, they're special needs young men and women. They love the outdoors and love the fish. But before we get to the brim fishing, I want you to have a chance to meet their families and hear what they have to say about their loved ones. We've got Cody here. This is his uncle. And this is his grandmother. Tell our viewers a little bit about Cody, how old he is, and some of the things he likes to do. Cody's 30 years old, and Cody's been in a movie. Uh, one of Cody's favorite things is, is his plans to be an actor. He's been to Hollywood. Wow. And he plans to be in other movies. You in a movie today, yep. Cody? Yeah. Catching fish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything uh, else you want to add to this? I, well, Cody's 30 years old, and we enjoy living in Tuscaloosa. Cody came here to go into the Crossing Points program at the university. And this summer he was at the Crossing Points Bridge. He's learning all about independent living. So he wants to have his own apartment one day there real soon. Mm -hmm. I think that is so neat. I know uh, Tennessee has one and they call it the life program where they teach him how to balance the checkbook, how to cook, how to wash clothes. Oh. Life skills so that, you know, because uh, one day you want them to be able to be self-sufficient. That's right. You know? Absolutely. He can and do he it. he does a good job. Well, all right, Cody. Well, let's, uh, we're talking too much. Let's let you get back and catch some fish, all right? Okay. All right. I got the Larkin family with me. This is Heather. Tell us a little bit about uh, Heather and how old she is and what program she's been through. Heather's 30 years old. She graduated from Crossing Points at the University of uh, Alabama 2000 and... 2008. Yep. 2008. Yep, and she's been to Summer Bridge uh, mm -hmm. last year and this year, which is a, a program at the university. Uh, they uh, offer uh, actual college classes for mentally challenged and, and um, uh, children that, that they feel will benefit from a program at the university where they're able to, to attend classes and go to sushi and, mm -hmm. and uh, live in the dorm and and basically just have a, a college life for about uh, two months. Well, and good. she did last year and this year. <laughs> well, good job, Heather. And Thank Nana, you. Where is she working at right now, helping out? Heather works at Hair Etc. down yeah. on Patriot Parkway. And she just got her shampoo license. She washes, um, I'm sorry, she sweeps hair and she folds towels and just anything else that they need for her to do. She, and they love her at Herrick Shadow. She's quite a social little thing too. And I tell her every time I walk in the door, she runs to me. She does. I mean, she'll she be does. 20 <laughs> yards away and run to her. I said, man, if I could only get my wife to do that. <laughs> uh, all right, well, we'll, uh, well, it's great to have y'all down here. We'll, uh, um, we went to a Disney World for Christmas. And that was fun? Yeah, we did, and we're celebrating for my birthday there, World Trip. 
<laughs> that was great. Well, let's go and see if we can get her on some more fish. All right. All Thanks, right, Tommy. come on. Thank you're you, welcome. Tommy. You're welcome. We're at Molly Parish. This is her parents, the parishes. And uh, we're down here in Foster's fishing with Molly and the gang. And I wanted y'all to tell us a little bit about Molly, how old she is, and a little bit about what she likes to do and what schooling she's been through. Okay, Molly is 36 years old. She uh, went to uh, Tuscaloosa County High School. This summer, she went to the University of Alabama and participated in this, the uh, Crossing Point Summer Bridge Program. And we're real proud of her. She graduated from that and did real well in the classes she took. She took mm -hmm. classes with the I'll regular tell it. students. I'll tell Roll it. Roll tight. I'll tell it. I took special education, personal health, and uh, public speaking. Good. Well, you're doing a good job of it today. Mm -hmm. How many fish you caught? Seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, good. You having fun? I am. What does Molly like to do when she's not working? Well, Molly likes to cook, and she's a very good cook. And she likes to play golf, and she's won several wow. gold medals at the Special Olympics for golf. Mm -hmm. Molly, you didn't tell us that. Yes. And well, I also like to go bowling with my, with my friends, including Ryan, Heather, and Cody. Well, good. Well, we might have to catch you all the night out at the bowling alley. I'm not a bad bowler myself. <laughs> what you think? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. All right, well, let's let you get back and catch some fish, babe, all right? Okay. All right, thank you all. <laughs> hey, folks, I'm with the Johnson family. This is Ryan and his parents. I wanted you all to tell us a little bit about Ryan, what, uh, how old he is, what type of schooling he's been through, and what he enjoys doing. I know fishing's one of them. <laughs> Yeah, Ryan's 34 years old. He graduated from West Blockton High School. He loves sports. He played sports in high school. And he spends a lot of time with Park and Recreation uh, softball. And, uh, and he also plays uh, sports out at the university. And he works at the Ferguson Center okay. on, on campus. So Ryan, Ryan gets, he's involved in a lot of things. He's got a lot of friends he bowls with. Molly and, and the group here, he really loves being with them. And does he, uh, does he, the, is he part of the university out there at uh, Ferguson Center? Is hey. that considered a job at the university? Yes. Okay. Yeah. He's been, what, 11 years? I think. Yeah, something like that. 11 years. He's been working out there. And as far as we know, he's been really good. Good at it. Mm hmm. Well, Ryan, what's your favorite thing of all to do? Out of all your little hobbies, what do you enjoy doing? Because you're a pretty good fisherman. And the unified flag football. Flag football? What position you play in flag football? Quarterback. Oh, <laughs> Elway, huh? Right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. All right. <laughs> well, you ready to go cast some uh, bait out there and see if we can get you another fish? Yep. All right, Ryan, let's go do it, man. <laughs> All right, folks, we got to take a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we're going to start brim fishing in Foster's, Alabama. You don't want to miss it. Big Number One Motorsports in Birmingham is Alabama's largest power sports dealer with products from Yamaha, Polaris, Can-Am, Indian Motorcycles, BMW, Ducati, and more. Located just off exit 256 off I-65 in Homewood, Big Number One Motorsports is your one-stop shop for all your ATV and side-by-side -side needs. For more information, contact Big Number One Motorsports at 205-942-BIG1 or visit Big Number One Motorsports on the web at BigNumberOne.com. Big Number One, we sell fun. Finishing my weekend to-do list. Not having a weekend to-do list? Being treated like a member. Not a number. Do I look like a number? Starting something new. Staying on top of what's new. Coming home at the end of the day and loving where I live. Seeing a smile on somebody's face and knowing I made it happen. What makes you feel good? Alabama Credit Union. Feel good about your money.
Moundville Feed and Seed prides themselves in putting their customers first. They carry a complete line of wildlife products and feed and seed. They offer bulk and bagged fertilizers, as well as bulk and bagged feeds. Their prices are always competitive, and the service is suited to meet the demands of their customers. They offer custom spreading, grain drill, and buggy rentals. And when it comes to having the best fields around, they are the wildlife specialist. Moundville Feed and Seed. Come see them today. Hey, this is Hank Williams Jr. I can skin a buck, I can run a trot line. When you go to the woods, bring your game face. Game face calls. To find out more about these new and exciting products, go to gamefacecalls.com, tommywilcox.com, or check your local retailer. Hi, my name is Bubba Dickinson with Nelson Glass Company. And we'd like to thank Steve Avery with Brassville and Gorey Equipment Rentals for being on board with us for our charitable hunts. We couldn't do it without you. so we can see the picture. Like this, twist your arms this way a little bit. There you go. All right. Molly! Molly! Oh, reel, you got a reel, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that is a good right. one, Molly. Whoa, hold it toward the camera, Molly. Turn it the other way. Put it in your hand. Woo, Molly, that is big. That is, isn't it? <laughs> Molly, what do you do, babe? Oh, we're going to build the Alliance of West Alabama. West a, Alabama. As a receptionist. How are you liking this fishing stuff so far? I love it. <laughs> That's your biggest one, huh? That's a big, beautiful one. We're going to get a picture with him, and then we'll put him back, OK? Mm -hmm. We didn't fast. Really? 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 By the string, come here. <laughs> All right, here's Heather Larkin with her biggest fish of the day so far. You having fun yet? Oh yes, I do. All right, we need to get you about five or six more, okay? Alrighty. All right. There you go. Oh, yeah. Well, there we go. Molly and Heather still got your beat, buddy. Yeah, that's not a bad one, though. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Woo! All right, Ryan, what do you do, babe? I work at Aramore Bamadani. What do you kind of do? Work at uh, the Chip Play area. Okay. I got another! I got another! Uh oh. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, my God! <laughs> 
Good job, buddy. Let's get you another one. All right, Molly. Molly! Turn this way, Molly. Mommy, you're going to come take this. You kissed it! Oh. Hot stuff. Look at it, Ray. What they got about him? It. Here. Oh, she don't. <laughs> what thing about it? I may be going out in that water. Now. Just wash that hook now. You want to you wanna hold it? Molly, I should La, 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 look at him right. Gross. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back from Hardin Construction's land down here in Foster's. <laughs> the kids are one. killing it. Hi, my name is Bubba Dickinson with Nelson Glass Company, and we'd like to thank Steve Avery with Brassville and Gorey Equipment Rentals for being on board with us for our charitable hunts. We couldn't do it without you. There you go. There you go. Got, oh, how about? Oh, right, oh, right. oh, don't let him drop in. You twist it. Oh, 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 shut. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you look good. 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 You gotta get it. You gotta get him Come back, Tony. I'm around it. Hey, yo, there you go, Tony. Oh, hi. There we go. Yeah. Good job, <laughs> man. Thank you. You liking this stuff? Yeah, yeah. Tell our viewers what you do, what you like to do. Well, I, uh, I'm a lab owner. I work at a gap cell medical, and I pick up all the uh, samples, like urine and uh, blood tests. Right there at the Capstone Medical? Yes. Yeah, I know all those guys out there, all those doctors. Ugh. Now, what number of fish is out of yours? Get him, Cody. Uh, I'm gonna try to if it stops. <laughs> he won't stop for you. You gotta stop him. Just pick him up. There you go. You want a picture with him? Yeah, sir. Ah, Bring your mama here. Bring your mama here. Come over. Oh, that's like the biggest one of the day, Molly. It's Don't a whopper. Don't let him get away. It's a whopper. Ooh, Molly. It's a whopper. Look at this one with this one now. Huh? Whoa, that's it. You got it, or you? Ooh, Molly. What'd you think of that, babe? Yeah. That was all by yourself, wasn't that it? It sure was. All right, we'll put him back so he can live another day. Sure you want? Let's get a picture here. Come on. How many does it make, Mom? That's all count. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a big one, Cody. Woo! Wow, that's a big one. <laughs> that is huge. Yeah. What a big one. Whoa. Good job, Cody. Is that Thank a big you. one? Yeah, it is. Cody, tell them you're having fun yet? Yes, I, I'm having fun so far. How many of these you've caught so far? Uh, Two, three? I guess. Three? Three, three. All right, we're well, gonna get you some more, some big ones like this though, all right? Okay. All right, I'll take him off. Mom and them get pictures? All right. She's my grandmother. Grandmother! Wow. Good job, man. Let's go. Let's get five on that one. All right. Keep your follow up. Man. Oh, you got it? No, I got one. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! I don't believe you count that. That's a big old. Yeah, that's a big old fish. Heather! <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> that might be the biggest of the day so far. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Heather, tell them where you work at. I work at Hair Cetera. And uh, what do you do? I do some towels and sweeping hair. 
and, and a shampoo license. Yeah, so if anybody needs their hair done, you can do it, huh? Yep. All right. See if we can get this big one. Maybe get mama. Mama got a, you got a picture, mama? <laughs> Ryan, flip around and show them this fish, baby. Oh, boy, that's a big one. See it? All right, how many crickets y'all put on? Two. I double cricket, double barrel. All right, here, let me get these pliers. a fumble. We were going to get a good picture with that big one. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Finishing my weekend to-do list. Not having a weekend to-do list? Being treated like a member. Not a number. Do I look like a number? Starting something new. Staying on top of what's new. Coming home at the end of the day. And loving where I live. Seeing a smile on somebody's face and knowing I made it happen. What makes you feel good? Alabama Credit Union. Feel good about your money. Talladega County Exchange has four locations to serve hunters and farmers. Talladega, Midstate Co-op in Columbiana, and St. Clair Farmers Co-op in Pell City and Asheville. We have a huge selection of hunting supplies, as well as feed, seed, fertilizer, and chemicals. Our Pell City store is a certified Hoyt dealer and archery center, while Columbiana has a full line small engine repair shop. So come by our quality co-op stores today and check out our down to earth values. You'll be glad you did. Hi everybody, I'm Johnny Lee. Now you might remember me from the movie The Urban Cowboy, and I'm still looking for love in all the wrong places. But let me tell you about the right place to look. Three Lakes, Trophy Ranch, right here in beautiful Wisconsin. You are so right, Johnny Lee. And the lodging and food, five star. And the deer, wow, you just gotta come see for yourself. Hey, take it from old Johnny Lee. Call Jan at Three Lakes Trophy Ranch, right here in beautiful Wisconsin. You'll be glad you did. I am. Looking for love. Hey, this is Hank Williams Jr. I can skin a buck, I can run a trot line. When you go to the woods, bring your game face. Game Face Calls. To find out more about these new and exciting products, go to GameFaceCalls.com, TommyWilcox.com, or check your local retailer. All right, Molly got the first fish of the day starting out. What you think? You think you could do this for a living? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe you holding it. I don't know if some of these other folks are gonna wanna hold the fish. <laughs> I had to wrap my hand around to get it, from, to keep it from sticking me. <laughs> You gotta be a little bit more camera friendly, <laughs> son. <laughs> Tell them how you did it, man. Skill? Skills. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. Heather Larkin is wearing the fish out. All right, folks, that'll do it for this week's show. I wanna thank all my special guests, my angels from Tuscaloosa. 
Cody, Ryan, Molly, Heather. Thank y'all so much for coming. Y'all had a good time? Yes, sir. Yeah, we did. Do y'all remember how many fish y'all caught? Six. Mice? Six. How many you caught, Molly? Seven. Ryan? More than that. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we want to we wanna give a special months. thanks to uh, Mr. Your Brian Hardy for letting us come down here, right? Right. So thank you, Mr. Brian, for letting us bring these angels down here and have a good time. We'll have to do it again, okay? Thank you, Mr. Harden. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. All right, we'll see y'all next week. Thanks for tuning in. One, two, three. Yay! I'm about to come back and do this again. Yeah. yeah. And y'all were good we'll at have it. Misty with us. Good job, yeah. Cody. Up, loaded down, trucking on from town to town. Guns, bows, and a tackle box. Here come Tommy Wilcox. Hitting the water, hitting the woods. That Bama boy sure got it good. Always having too much fun. Lord, it don't y'all wanna come get your song? Yeah, come get your song. From hogs down in Alabama to redfish in Louisiana. Great white north, monster bugs, Arkansas. Greenhead ducks, coaches from the SEC, country boys like Hank and me, Bass, Bram, Dove.